Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 243. And for this segment, I'm going to be driving an Acura NSX from 97. Because I can. So let's move on to the next leg of the Super Lap Days. Time for Class C. And yeah, lots of all-wheel drive cars here. We've got Sasaki, Takahashi, and Sato all in all-wheel drive cars. And then there's Evans in the small fast of uh, Vauxhall VX220, so this ought to be an interesting one. We're actually starting with the Nordschleife, so we're getting the easy race out of the way first. And we're doing Fuji Reverse, alright. So, let's go to the Nürburgring. Alright, here we go. Starting on pole, because my car has the highest PI. I'm basically, you know, <clears throat> prepared myself for Fuji and Amalfi stuff so uh yeah also that short that was a short shift from hell and suck my car was not expecting to have that acceleration advantage but <clears throat> I'll take it definitely won't complain Look at the glow of them brake lights, man. Those some glowy-ass brake lights. <clears throat> I always found it interesting how that, like, entire section of the back of the NSX was, like light bars. Obviously not all of it was brake lights, but very large portion brake lights. <clears throat> I'm guessing like far right and far left are signal lights and then I'm sure like the outside portion of the brake lights are for the uh, tail lights. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm guessing. And I'm pulling the fuck away, but like I said, this is going to be the easy race. Because the Nuremberg. Oh boy, I'm going to be taking a very massive victory, aren't I? <coughs> Some tells me this car might be a little, uh, might be, uh, make the other two races fairly easy as well, I'm not sure. Oh god, almost went flying off the track. That was very close. Say this car is very well behaved. Maybe it was just because I'm used to driving like NSXs and other games and them being very uh, oversteery, but this one not so much. I'm not a fan of the new NSX. Like, it looks like a cool, generic supercar thing. Doesn't look like an NSX to me, though. I don't know why. Like, I know, you know, as time goes on, cars get different designs and all that shit, but, like, with most car modern cars, I can, you know, put the look name behind the look. 
The new NSX, though, I don't know. I, I just can't. Like, put the NSX name behind it for some reason. And it's honestly really confusing. Like, I don't. I feel like I shouldn't feel this way about it, but I do. It's like one of those gut feelings. When I know, like, logically, it kind of makes no sense and is a kind of a hypocritical feeling. If it was called, like, if it had an original name or it was called something else, I'd probably like it a lot more. It's like, wow, that's a pretty interesting little car there. Yeah, mm -hmm. But now I'm just like, hey, that's a, that's an NSX. Hmm. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera. I have a 15 second lead, don't I? I'm only, like, halfway through. is here. 13.4, okay, so not quite 15 yet. Oh god. Don't want the new road to be called R7. Well, see, here's the thing, apparently it's not going to be a rotary, also it's the RX9. At least from what, you know, I've seen and heard. Mazda's just like, nah, we're not doing rotaries. But the RX literally stands for Rotary Experiment. Okay. Oh, shit. Careful. up to 15. Oh, shit. RX-8 is shit. I like the RX-8. I actually really like the RX-8, especially in black. It's badass. And red. Kind of like tied between which I like more, the RX7 and the RX8, because I like them both really. Oh shit. I was keeping my car so clean too. Not anymore. Anymore. Just rip everything. <laughs> seven is faster. I don't give a shit if it's got less. The RX8 has less power than the seven. If that was the case, the Bugatti Veyron would be the best car ever made. <laughs> we all know that's a fucking falsehood. There's high grip. Man, I, holy shit. I really caved in the left front. Look how far my tire's sticking out. Like, here's the right front. Here's the left. Jesus Christ. And yet, no mechanical damage from that. 
fucking GG game. Now let's see what my margin of victory is. Also, hey, sub nine minute race. Nice. I was kind of like I didn't say it out loud, but I was kind of I was thinking like, oh, I wonder if I can get a sub nine minute race time here. Guess what? I did, and I won by twenty seconds. Twenty point eight. Hooray. Let's wait on the rest of the field to come cross line. Oh, wow. Spears and Anderson in a dead heat, separated by .003. But that was a nice finish to look at. Goddamn. Okay, well, first race done. Now on to the actual interesting shit. Uh, to, uh, to Positano we go. Alright, here we go. Positano time. Motherfuckers. Now let's see how this thing performs compared to the, uh, well, the R34 mostly. But everyone else as well. Oh, hello. How you doing, Sasaki? Not the best sign starting out here. I'm actually able to keep up with them fairly well. It's just, um, where the fuck do I pass them? Without, you know, doing a full-on retard Scotty like I did in the Toge events. Well, the later Toge events. You know, the R-Class ones. Okay, now I'm driving- oh god, now I'm driving like shit. Now he's getting away. And everyone else is just kind of, uh, queuing it behind my ass. I did not need that downshift. Keep downshifting too much. Get back here, Sasaki. Can't get away. You can't run away from me. Ooh, that was really close. Takahashi there. <clears throat> I love how once I get to a part where I'm more part of the track or I'm more familiar, I just close the gap immediately. Fantastic! How you doing, Sasaki? Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Well, I said I didn't want to do it, but... Yeah. <coughs> and then again, since when do I ever keep my word? Intentionally or not? That was unintentional, by the way. Just kind of happened, and I let it happen. <clears throat> miss these marathon tracks. They're pretty cool. I too miss them. Pretty much the only marathon track we have nowadays is the Nordschleife. That's it. Like in any game. Oh, hello, Sasaki. You're going for a Scotty. All right. Although, I was approaching that turn super slow, so it probably wasn't even a Scotty, it was just, you know, he was approaching the turn normally and also happened to be going underneath. So as to not get held up by my slow ass. Just gotta keep that blue R34 behind us, and we'll be fine. 
We just fly over the crest. Stop the presses and also stop the car. Ooh, that was close. That was a brown moment. Atari. Okay. And just like that, Sasaki so right back on my ass. Yeah, I'm driving the Acura NSX. Barely holding off Sasaki and his R34. I need to slow down. Shit. Quickly go. I can still recover. Go. Don't oh, get behind me, Takahashi. Thank you for obliging. Appreciate it. I, I said thank you for obliging, boy. Okay. Here. Starting to run out of track, so luckily we're on this part of the track. Which once again, familiar territory. Which means I can gain a lot of time. And do this. Just do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Carl looks so fucking upset. So incredibly upset. That is one sad car. Oh, man. Okay, well. Squeak that victory out of my ass now. Let's move on to, uh... Oh, God, that's hard to look at. Let's move on to Fujimi. Well, let's do this. In this here at Fujimi Kaido Reverse. Off we go. Get that initial launch, but once the uh, the all-wheel drive advantage wears out, this car actually out accelerates them. Going wide. They create a lot more speed out of that turn than I did. Fuck your taillights. Okay. I love how the first half and second half of this race at races at Fuji are pretty much completely different. Cause the first half is like, alright, going uphill, let's just try to keep the momentum, keep them behind me. The second half is like, alright, let's not miss the breaking points, let's go flying into the wall, please. Very yin and yang. Or yin and yang, whatever. You know what I mean. 
Also, how did I get this uh, lead here? What's happening? Have they caught a case of the suck? Does that kind of have a four second lead? Casual four second lead. No idea how. Car is OP. Shit. This will all be over in like, I don't know, eight minutes. So, uh, I know I said this before, it's still interesting to see, like, as we go on through the as a super lap series. Just inter interesting to see how uh, these race times just go down and down and down as we get in faster, faster cars. It's pretty cool because I'm weird. Of course, you know, shorter and shorter segments. Oh. Kicking their asses, okay. This is a little bit unexpected. Again, this NSX just drives so well. Like, I'm surprised, but at the same time, I'm not. Bet the F class races were fun. Well, they took a while. That's for sure. I don't know about me getting better at these tracks. Also, I saw a peak of Mount Fuji there over in the background for a moment before I went over the world's longest crest. There it is. Mount Fuji. And now it's time to begin the descent. I it's time to begin the uh, the brakes are important part of the race. Prettiness. Man, this turn comes up a lot quicker than you think it is. Like, you think when you go down that little hill there, it's like, okay, I have plenty of time to slow this car down. And then suddenly, here's the turn. You're still not slowed down enough. Have fun. like what 930 for you waterfall Ooh, sliding around the turn still holding a four second lead and I'm damn driving a little bit conservatively Oh no. 
finally broke the car. Damn it. Like, am I gonna have a clean race around here? Ha <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Actually, almost at the end here. No, we're not. Never mind. Getting ahead of myself. Oh, we got the day off today. Ooh. Nice. Oh, wall. And switchback time. Say those switchbacks are more fun going downhill than uphill. So about Sasaki closing the gap, I, I just raised it back to 5.3. It's not closing me anymore. I finally got my first bit of mechanical damage now. Ooh, you got a motorcycle license in the last week. Ooh. Good Mr. Torrent here and his cool little two wheel fun machine license. seconds almost. I really pulled away there at the end. Okay, well, surprisingly easy. Then again, it's an NSX. I should not be surprised. Because NSX is a little bit OP. But there we go. That concludes the uh, Class C portion of the uh, Super lap days. When do I wake up? I don't know. It depends on whether my body decides to only get four hours of sleep at once or eight hours. So, who knows? My sleep schedule is fucked. Just supremely fucked. But anyways, enough about that. We are going to uh, end this segment. I don't know. Moving on to the Class B Super Lap days next time. So, uh, with that, stay tuned for more Forza 3.